Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today I'm showing you the stuff that I got from La La Lab. It's like a little unboxing video slash review. I did a video a couple months ago about me getting photos for free online and La La Lab was one of the companies that I kind of got some free items from. I had £5 off so I spent £5 with La La Lab. I was able to get this because I had two email accounts and I had referral codes so I used my referral codes and people that were searching up my video used my code to get their £5 off and then I was able to receive £5 in return. I had £100 on each account so I was able to spend £200 on whatever I wanted at La La Lab. So I bought a lot of photos. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the prints. If you send them a low quality print it's not going to come out as good. First thing I'm going to say about these is make sure you get the right size. The thing with La La Lab is that they don't size stuff up normally. And what I mean by that, they put stuff in centimetres, which I find very confusing. As a photographer, it's 6 by 4 5 by 7 yada yada yada, you get the drift. Um, they put their stuff in centimetres, I probably should have checked beforehand, but I just thought regular would be a regular size. Here is the size of a 6x4 and as you can see here, there's like a centimetre and a half missing off here. So these ones won't actually fit in photo frames, but it's not too much of an issue because I'm putting them in a photo book anyway. Just getting normal prints, please just be careful and be aware of that, that you don't get the wrong size. I think there's a regular and then there's a standard, and I think you want to go for the standard, I'm pretty sure. These prints are 33p each, but if you get over 100, it's 22p each. So as you can see, I've got quite a lot there, so these were all 22p each. I thought I would get myself one of the gift boxes. This is a sweet little box here. It was with the regular photos. So this box here was £21.90 and you get 50 photos. You can get up to 150 in there, but obviously the more prints you get, the price goes up. The prints were just standard prints, photos that I wanted to get printed. The box itself, I think this would make a really, really nice gift box, which is why I bought it. I just thought if I'm giving someone any photos, I can just pop them in that. There's also space on the side here for you to write a comment to someone. It also came with these little stickers as well, which I think you can put on the box or do whatever you want with them, really. I got a lot of photo strips. They usually come in these really nice packets and you get five for £7.90, I believe. The reason why I haven't got those packets is because I was using them for, like, gifts. So I printed some duplicates off of these and I've given them to some of my friends. In my last video, I did talk about this print, as you can see, a printing line straight down the middle of it. I was looking at some of the other photo strips and I haven't actually got any printing lines. They are a little bit grainy but then that could just be down to the aesthetic of them all or my edits, whatever. But I do think these can make some really cute presents and some nice memories and I actually think they're kind of one of my favourite things as well. So I got some mini Polaroids. I didn't get any big ones because I didn't have enough money. Um, so when it comes to the Polaroids, I got the mini Polaroids rather than the big ones. The reason why I didn't print them off was because I wouldn't know what to do with them. I already have a lot of photos printed off in my uni room, so I just was a bit like, I don't know what I would do with them. So I went for the little mini ones. I got 10 mini ones. So with the Polaroids, I was gonna get like one mini one and one big one to see the size comparison because they're exactly the same price. Definitely better off getting the bigger Polaroids because these are little ones and they're exactly the same price which doesn't really make that much sense to me but I thought the little ones would be cuter therefore I went for them. Only thing is though La La Lab says you have to buy 10 you can't just buy like one or two. With these ones I actually experimented a little bit with the borders that you can get on them. I'm not really a massive fan on the colours and stuff. If I was to get a Polaroid I'd want it to be white. But solely for the purpose of this video I just wanted to show you what some of the colours look like. I mean I kind of like them but I'm not completely like raging about them. I'd much rather get the photo strips than the Polaroids. Just depends what you want to do with them. These are great for scrapbooking or putting up on your wall. If you can't afford a Polaroid camera and you really like the look of these, I mean me probably four years ago would have been all over these but I feel like I'm kind of past Polaroids if I'm being brutally honest. Um, I much prefer my film camera. Again, these prints are 33p each or 22 if you buy 100. I just find it mad that you're paying exactly the same price for both of these prints. 
that is something that I don't think is actually okay. I don't think that La La Lab should really be charging the same amount for, for these, really, in my opinion, but yeah. I decided to get a extra large print. So this is 20 centimeters by 27, which makes it a seven by 10. This was £1.99 and it is really, really good printing quality. Considering this picture here was taken on a film camera, I was kind of expecting it to not be as clear as it is. It's still grainy, but that's because of my camera. And yeah, I actually really impressed with this print and both my mum and dad like it as well. So that's a bonus. I then got myself a photo book. So this book was £11.90 and it's got 24 pages in it of some of the photos that I took over quarantine. I've been doing a lot of portraiture over quarantine. So I thought I would do a social distance book of them. Some of my favourite ones, not all of them are in here. You get a minimum of 24 pages and past that you pay an extra 64p per page. So I just picked a couple of my favourite ones and put them in the book. The book itself, it's like matte, but it feels, um, it's a really smooth book actually. Um, I don't know how to describe the feel of it, but it feels nice. And the printing quality is quite good in this. You can add your own photo to your front cover. So I just came up with this collage of the pictures that are in the book. On the inside of the pages, you can actually write stuff if you wanted to put a note underneath it or the name of the photograph if you want to do that. At the bottom here, I just wrote the name of the book, which is 2020 Social Distance Portraiture. Um, so yeah i'm i'm quite happy with this also got some magnets and i really really like these you get 10 square magnets for 11 pounds 90 they come in different shapes and different sizes you can get polaroid ones you can get love heart shaped ones you can get circle ones all sorts i went for the square ones because they were cheapest i wanted to get the most out of la la lab that i possibly could and to be fair I was not expecting the printing quality to be that good. Printing quality on these magnets is actually better than the Polaroids and the photo strips. So I am quite impressed with these. I decided to get some of my line art printed onto the magnets as well. So I was really, really happy with these. I thought they looked super cute. Got some like random pictures and stuff. And they come in this little bag as well. And the bags actually have like different things on them. I uh, can't remember what the other bag has on it, but I gave it away. Magnets just go in there quite nicely. And last but not least, I bought a poster. It didn't come with the frame. I bought the frame separately. You can buy a frame with them, but it's like 30 quid. So I would recommend just going to like the range and get in a frame. This frame was 10 pounds from the range. And the poster was £16.90. But yeah, I really, really like this poster. I accidentally put the same picture on there twice. So if you do that, please just check over it before. Um, but it's still going up on my uni wall. So yeah, that was my haul video. Really hope you enjoyed it. Sorry about the continuity. My camera just died, so I'm going to quickly just round up the video. Only thing I've got to say is that not all of my posts came at the same time. It all was sent individually. The packaging is pretty recognisable. It has La La Lab written all over it, and it will have a massive pink sticker on it if it hasn't. I got a lot of like origami things that came with all my posts. So I can make a whale, I can make a butterfly, and I can make a bunny. So I've got all of these little pieces of origami paper. And to be fair, I might just use these in scrapbooks. So, so I also got loads and loads of these little scratch cards and they will have like different things on them. However, I did come to realize that every single one of them had a free postcard on them. I'll leave all the codes in the description down below if you want one. Obviously, if it's been used once, then you can't use it. If it's your first purchase as well, I will leave my Lala referral codes in the description down below. I got my friends to give me their codes as well, so there is theirs. But yeah, overall, I'm really, really chuffed. I got all of that stuff for £200, and all I had to pay for was the postage. So I am sweet. I am pretty sweet. Obviously, being someone that prints a lot of photos, it was quite nice to have it all paid for. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Really hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to go check my Instagrams out. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, thank you again for watching and have a good week.